Nonprofits are among the organizations struggling to stay afloat during the COVID-19 pandemic. Many fundraisers have been canceled and donations are down. News 5's Kenna Reed and Lukadich today spoke with leaders at two nonprofits who are feeling the effects of the pandemic. Nonprofits like the Salvation Army are being asked to do more amid the COVID-19 pandemic, but funding is becoming an issue. Our funding has just completely dropped off in, in most areas. The Salvation Army is providing more meals than usual, feeding up to 180 people in downtown Mobile each week. That's in addition to meals at their Dauphin Street location, weekly food pantry giveaway, and other regular services. A good chunk of funding for the Salvation Army comes from their thrift stores in Mobile and Baldwin counties, stores that have been closed because of the pandemic. A lot of our funding does come from there uh, for the, the, our social service work that we do into the community. Penelope House, Mobile's shelter for domestic violence victims, is feeling a similar loss. Penelope's closet on Old Shell Road is closed until further notice. When people purchase anything, items from the closet, the money goes back to support the shelter. So, you know, we, we can look at a, probably a monthly loss of 20000 or more. It's also a time when fewer people are able to give monetary donations. I totally understand um, because people are concerned about, you know, the, their own needs at home. But these organizations are asking if you can give to consider them. Anything that anyone can do to help would be most appreciated. The Salvation Army is also asking for food items. To find out how you can help, look for this story on WKRG.com. In Mobile, Katarina Luktich, WKRG News 5.